Hey everyone, I'm Brian Lober. Welcome to another video walkthrough. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite features on the all new 2024 Sailfish 316 Dual Console. Climb aboard. So for starters, before we jump on the 316 TC, I want to talk about the trademarked hull design of the Sailfish Boats lineup. So Sailfish has of course employed their VDS hull design. What that is is a variable degree dead rise system. So at the bottom of the keel, we have a 24 degree dead rise. Our next step up, 22 degree dead rise. And furthest away, we have a 20 degree dead rise. Now, what that's gonna equate to is a very comfortable ride out on the water. 24 degrees being at the bottom of the keel is gonna allow you to slice through the waves, any chop that you may encounter out on Long Island Sound, be safe, comfortable, and secure. Then, when it tapers out to a shallower dead rise, what that's going to do is be very stable when you're at rest. Whether you're fishing, whether you're hanging out at anchor or at a mooring, it's gonna be very comfortable for you and any guests that you may have aboard the boat. This is true with any sailfish boat in their lineup, and when you go into their 31 DC, of course, it's gonna be that much more stellar. So now we find ourselves in the cockpit area of the 316 DC, and I must say, when I first climbed on this boat, it is a remarkable amount of space that we have here. Not only is it a very beamy boat and 31 feet length overall, the depth of the cockpit is really incredible. So I'm about 6'1", so I'm being a taller guy. This is really going up to my waistline. I'm enjoying this. And what that's gonna equate to, again, is a safe, comfortable ride for you as the skipper, with your family, with your friends, any guests that you plan to bring on the boat. That would be if you're moving from side to side, whether you be fishing, or as we'll see in just a minute when we flip all the seats down, just a very comfortable, comfortable cockpit space. I'm enjoying it. So let's talk about some of the features that we have back here. We're gonna start with the engines. So, Sailfish Boats has equipped this model for us with the twin 300 horsepower Yamaha V6 outboards. This is a tried and true model. I love what they've done with the white cowling. It's really beautiful, and I know this boat is certainly gonna perform when we put her in the water. Moving back to the transom bench area, we do have no shortage of rod holders whatsoever. And with water sports in mind, with Sailfish's friendly, family-focused orientation, we do have a telescoping ski pylon. Great for that wakeboard, water skiing, and tubing. No cup holders abound. I always like to joke in some of my videos, Sailfish reps can attest to this, there is no shortage of cup holders on any Sailfish boat. Poor quarter live well. I can certainly appreciate this as an avid fisherman. Very deep in there. Easily accessible, of course, with the acrylic top to it. And then again, no shortage of room, as I mentioned, moving back and forth. We do have two mirrored in-floor fish boxes, port and starboard side. Again, this is a boat that I'd be able to take out with at least a couple more buddies and be very comfortable fishing the boat all day long. Now let's transform into family mode comfort seating. So we do have a port side pull-out bench, starboard side pull-out bench, and again, set up for those family days where you're just relaxing, hanging out, having those cocktails or d'oeuvres on the water. Now you can see we've transformed the cockpit of the 316 DC into family mode. So we have our port side pullout lounge, our starboard side pullout lounge, and of course the transom bench that I'm on now. Now you notice when we first started the video that when these are tucked away, you have a very, very large amount of space. When I have them out, I'm still able to entertain, I'm still able to move around the boat, unobtrusive seating, and a comfortable spot to be. Check this out, when you're claiming your family and friends aboard, we also have a portside dive door. So that makes getting on and off the boat super easy from the dock, or when you're jumping into the water, coming back out, again, with the stainless steel ladder, dropping into the water from the door, it makes it very simple. Lock that back up, and we're ready to be on our way again. Let's continue to the midship of the boat with furthermore in our seating arrangement. So, portside lounger area, we do have this nice, high back aft facing lounge. What's cool about this is that when I have that port side pullout seat, I can actually use that as a lounger chair. That's gonna be my footrest. Underneath, we do have storage. You're gonna see this is the storage compartment for the stainless steel dive ladder on the port side door, as well as our nice sailfish owner's pack included in the boat. On our starboard side midship area, we have a great expansive Corian countertop. Storage drawers, three deep to hold all your boating gear. I would be putting some fishing accessories in there. We do have a freshwater sink, as well as a built-in cooler, doubling as a drink well. Just below us, 12 volt refrigerator with a freezer as well. On the front side, forward facing, we do have another high back bolstered companion seat. I like this, forward facing. I would actually be riding on the boat with the bolster up. 
I happen to be up, like being up a little bit higher. Again, a very comfortable spot to be. We stocked in this 316 door inventory fully loaded. So we have the full suite of Garmin electronics. We have our twin full on touchscreen displays. Up on top of the hardtop, we do have a Garmin radar, Garmin VHF. All these are state of the art equipment, very, very super user friendly, intuitive. Through our captain trainings, you're gonna be an expert professional with the Garmin system. Nice switching up here, all illuminated dash buttons for any system that we wanna operate on the boat. And then we do have equipped, we have the all new Yamaha Binnacle. Of course, we brought her in with the joystick. Make stocking this boat super easy, it is a breeze. And again, after our training, you will be a true professional skipper when you're out on the sailfish. Like all the sailfish models, the, the dual console lineup, you have a huge hard top on the boat. This one we have color matched to the hull in their light blue colorway. Up here we're going to have our Yamaha digital display. This is going to give us all our engine data, again with our light switches up here. What I really need to emphasize on the all new 316 dual console is the full height windshield glass. This is awesome. This is going to extend your season because it's going to keep you warm on those colder days in the beginning of the season and at the end of the season. But also when you have it open, it is going to be able to allow a lot of nice airflow. Really great if I happen to run in some foul weather out there, what I can do is slide the windshield close and then close our bow pass through door. And this is going to block down on wind, block down on any rain that might be encountering out there. And again, this one added layer of safety protection on the sailfish boat. So sailfish is also known for their head area. So between any of their dual console models, it is going to have the vol most voluminous head in their class. And they utilize this without taking away any room from the bow or from the cockpit area. It's truly a deep bathroom area. And again, families will certainly appreciate that. Let's make our way up to the bow. So as we walk through the sliding glass enclosure, we make our way up to a very deep bow seating area. Being a dual console, I said it before and I'll say it again, this is the best place in the house to enjoy that beautiful salty air on your ride in Long Island Sound. And no shortage of storage up here either. Port side, we do have a deep storage well, which does move forward towards the bow of the boat. Starboard side, we remove the cushion. We lift up to go just ahead of our helm storage area. In there you'll see storage for the two tables and a very deep space for all the gear you could possibly want to bring with you on your sailfish. With this boat, we do have our equipped with our electric anchor windlass, easily accessible. And again, a very elegant design up in the bow. This is where you'll see me hanging out when I'm at my mooring or an anchor, hanging out on my beautiful day with my friends and family on the sailing. So for more information on our all new 2024 Sailfish Boats 316DC, come on down to Marine Max of Norwalk, Connecticut. We're located at 130 Water Street and can be reached at any time by phone at 203-831-6311. I'm Brian Lober, thanks for stopping by.